What's going on, you freaking degenerate? This is the Big Pin Fish coming at you with another video. And this is more of a mini blog rat video. And, and I wanted to share this with you because it might help somebody. Somebody, just a random person might come across the video and they might get help. Um, they might help them make a decision or go over that hurdle that has been stopping them from doing something. And let me take a bait first. Temperature control. I've been against temperature control since day fucking one. Never really liked it. The first time I tried it was on my on my Brillo. Um and actually, now that I understand temperature control a little bit better, they were low board. It's not that horrible. It's okay. You know, it's a it's, it's an okay board for 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 temperature control. Um, now, I always I was very curious about the DNA boards. Um, you know, I know there's other ones out there like Ehe and other boards, and but I was interested in the DNA board. Um, and you know, it's the uh, chip itself, the board itself, it, if you buy one, you know, just a board, you know, you're talking about like 80 bucks. So yeah, that's an expensive board. I know it's made in the USA and everything, but it's 80 bucks for freaking just the board itself. Um, so I knew, about, well, if the board is that price, you know, the mods are fucking expensive as shit, right? Uh, well. The thing is, you you have your board, and then you need your batteries, and and you know the, the case, and you can make your own shit if you want to. But it's a lot of stuff that you have to buy, and sometimes it's better to just buy a pre-made, you know, mod. Um, but if you like to tinker and do your own shit, yeah, you can do your own shit. You're you're seven. I wouldn't fucking build my own mod because I don't know shit how to build my own mod and shit. And then it's not something I'm gonna venture in or jump in right now. Uh, but I was curious about the DNA board and I've been wanting to get one, you know, for a while. The reason why was because um, I wanted to, to try good, like good or, be or better temperature control. Um, because I have to have discarded and, and, and basically banned temperature control out of my life completely. Um, but I said, well, the DNA board was created for that purpose it was created for temperature control so that's a specific product for that specific you know function and I said, you know what let me just fucking jump into it and and, and, and get one um, I search you know a lot of sites I search for a lot of different mods um, I search for reviews I search for you know people that knew about boards in mods and ask questions i ended up making a decision you know based on being my first mod and something that i gonna you know try out and stuff and for me it was well if i don't like it on temperature control i'll just have another power mod you know that's that's how i viewed it another thing it was a dna board and you know so everybody said well you have the relos and you have the triads and you have this and you have that I did not want a DNA board with 18650s. Why? I just think the LiPo battery get you more than an 18650. But at the same time, I don't like LiPo batteries. You know, LiPo batteries get me worried. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I, even though, you know, they are the same in a way as, you know, the safety part of it is the same, more or less the same thing as an 18650. Um, they still had me kind of worried. I, I didn't trust them. Uh, but I knew that if I was going to get a DNA board, I wanted a LiPo on it. So I ended up finding one with a LiPo and, you know, finding one with decent battery life. And uh, actually, you know, the lowest, lowest price one that I could find. And that was, was the SDNA 200, you know. I, I ended up paying, I mean, if I think about it, do everything, all the math of what I received and everything, I ended up paying like a hundred bucks for the mod. So the board itself is 80. 
So I ended up paying $20 more for the battery, the case, you know, all the connections, the button, everything else. So for me, that was a, you know, an okay price, a justifiable price to pay for a DNA mod that I had no experience with, you know. So I didn't want to dive in and buy a two, three, four hundred dollar mod, you know what I mean? So, you know, it still was, in my eyes, pricey. But compared to everything else, it was actually the lowest price and the more bang for your buck, I guess I want to say. Um, the first thing is started learning the board, you know, all the, you need to learn the clicks, you know, what you need to do in order for you to get from one part to the other. That's the thing with DNAs, you know, if you already have a low and you mess with the temperature feature on it, you have to jump from here to there. The same thing with DNA. You have to jump from here to there in order for you to actually set up the, the, the actual mod to function the way you want it to function. Let me take a wipe on it. And it's on temperature control. And I'm vaping on the Merlin. The Merlin single coil configuration. Very tasty. Tasty tank. And so temperature control, I got a 0.36 ohm coil on it. I'm going to be at 40 watts with 440 degrees Fahrenheit on uh, stainless steel, 316L. And it's a very pleasant bait. The temperature control on this thing works very well. I really like the temperature control on the board. Um, even the power setting on it, it's very nice. Um, when people say, oh, it has a smooth signal. I don't know what the fuck that meant before. Now I understand what fucking smooth signal means. It means when you click that button, it's going to throw a nice constant power to your atomizer and it's a smooth vape smooth vape it's not just like bro like vapor and shit it's like a smooth vape um and i really enjoy the mod now You saw how that, you know, screen was flashing. It's actually protecting itself. When it reaches that temperature, it shuts down or lowers the power. And then once it cools off again below that temperature setting, it goes up again. So it's protecting itself going up and down and up and down to maintain that temperature. Um, but you can barely tell it's doing that. You know, you can barely tell it's doing that. Uh, so that's the reason why the uh, the temperature control on this thing is it, it, it works good. You know, it, it you don't feed it as much. It, it's it's a more constant. Uh, you know, firing it doesn't drop off completely off. It just like a smooth transaction. Um, and so you know, I found the mod. I found the price range that I was looking for close to it uh, I found that I enjoyed the experience with it now another thing besides you know you know there were some things that stopped me from getting it before uh, price was one of them uh, the battery lipos I I did not like lipos but I knew I wanted if I would ever get a DNA I wanted it in a lipo um, and then the other thing was the eScribe. That program, you know, framed the shit out of me. I was like, fuck, I don't, I don't know none of that shit. I don't know profiles and settings and all that fucking crap. So it turned me off completely from those boards. You know, I get the mod. You know, thankfully, this mod has already been preset with all the, you know, power and nickel and titanium and... 304 stainless steel and 316 stainless steel and you know it has all the you know 
settings already in it, so I didn't have to fucking worry about nothing. It was already preset, so yeah, it's fucking badass. I just got it out of the box, started fucking vaping it and shit. Um, but I said it's time. I didn't hook it up to e square right away. It took me a while, to, a couple couple of days. Um, but I said, yo, fuck it. I'm gonna connect the fucking e square. Fuck it. So I connected it to eScribe and you know it uploaded the settings and you know it asked you you know board yeah I'm gonna rename it and I put okay this is like you know the SDNE 200 by SMY you know that's the name I put on it and it saved it and stuff so it saved the original um, configuration or, or settings on the mod so what I did I went into file and then saved as and you know I saved that original profile from the mod so to the original the original settings basically and then I, I, I kept it there as a backup just in case i fucked it up i can upload it again um then i said you know going through all the tabs and watching everything i was like shit it's not that bad then i was his themes oh now themes shit i went online and go like it, it, it you know dna 200 themes and i found themes i was like fuck look oh star wars shit shit click it download it boom um get that one, you know, into that folder where I had my original profile, save that there. Um, so you, you know, you have the mod connected, the program setting and everything the mod has, I changed the theme on it. So now it's a Star Wars theme. And now, you know, I moved some things on the power. I moved some things, uh, what I want to show, you know, what I want the mod to show on the screen when certain buttons are pressed. And I even put my name on it. And, I mean, I started doing a lot of crazy shit within a couple of minutes. And everything got uploaded to the mod. And then I saved that profile with the Star Wars theme, with the, you know, tweaks I did on the settings. You know, instead of locking it five times, I did like three click lock and unlock. Uh, you know, the uh, battery was showing. If it's in a power mode, it's actually showing me a percentage of the battery instead of the temperature. You know, just little shit here and there. Um, and I saved that profile. So now I have the original profile setting and then I have now the theme profile setting. And I was like, you know what? I can do another one. So, you know, I went and downloaded another theme and saved it and, you know, so we can switch it around. It's not that difficult. The only thing I don't like is that the, uh, I, when I connected to the first time we did a service pack, um, in a, or an update and after doing the update that same day the mod failed me and said you know check out a measure check out a measure check out a measure so I checked that out of my was fine because it was working on other mods and then I started switching atomizers on it and it, it didn't read none of them I was like fuck so I connected it back to you know to the eScribe I did a dump and reinstalled you know the theme all over again the star wars one with all the settings and then it started working again so i think the service pack shit had something to do with it i'm not 100 percent sure but you know that's the thing that's like why the fuck would that happen right after i did the up you know the update on the service pack you know so that thing kind of bothered me a little bit but other than that you know i got the mod working it's a very simple you know click here click there type of you know, configuration it's not that difficult the eScribe once you mess with it maybe two or three times it's a breeze uh, you know I have a venture into the battery you know check up that when you know it does a checkup of the battery and it drains the whole battery just checking that all the batteries are you know firing at the same time and all that shit that's too advanced I haven't done that but for the basic stuff it's actually pretty damn easy um, and the board works nice would i pay more than what i paid for originally on this one probably not um but it, you know it's a good board it's it's a good board i'm not gonna say it's about and it actually got me to start enjoying temperature control so if you're thinking about the any board it's a it's a good board don't pay too much for it and the scribe it's an it's, it's not that complicated so if you want to Curious about it, want to venture out? Go ahead. You know, you won't lose anything. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.